Well, the CDC reports that more than 93,000 people died from drug overdoses in 2020, a nearly 30% increase from the year prior. As we've reported, that problem caused two people to develop FentCheck. That's a testing strip that alerts you if a drug you have is laced with fentanyl. Emma Jerome joins us live following up on what the company is doing right now about this. Good morning, Ken. Emily, I have been in touch with Dean Schold and Allison Heller ever since we caught up about a month ago with their company, FentCheck. FentCheck is available at one bar here in Oregon, and it's Star Bar here on Southeast Morrison on the east side of the river in Portland. And they want to expand this program so much further. They want to get it all over the city, all over the state of Oregon, down to Eugene at the University of Oregon. But Schold tells me that legislation is holding up the process. He says this brings into light a drug paraphernalia law that considers these fentanyl testing strips paraphernalia. The text reads that paraphernalia is testing equipment marketed for use or designed for use and identifying or in analyzing the strength, effectiveness, or purity of controlled substances. But Dean says that's almost contradicted by the passing of Measure 110, which says that fentanyl testing strips might be considered harm reduction. In the text of Measure 110, it grants the providing of these services, which could be, quote, harm reduction interventions, including but not limited to overdose prevention education, access to naloxone hydrochloride, which is Narcan, and sterile syringes and stimulant specific drug education and outreach. This is in relation to addiction recovery. Schultz says they need the backing of local governments before they'll be able to rightly expand, but the text makes it awkward and clumsy to go about doing that. With Measure 110, you can now keep up to two grams of cocaine, which may have fentanyl in it that you don't know about. If you take it and you overdose, then somebody can use Narcan on you, but you can't actually test it to stop you from overdosing. I reached out to PPB and the DA's office. PPB said that they don't think I'll find anyone on their end who would actually charge someone who uses these sorts of testing strips as protection against fentanyl. They then directed me to the DA's office who was not available for a comment. Dean says he hopes that during the 2022-2023 regular session they can clear up this text, making it easier for them to spread the use of FedCheck because they know that these overdoses are preventable and they want to do literally anything they can to try and prevent those. Reporting live in Southeast Portland this morning, Emma Jerome, Queen 6 News. All right, thank you.